today's video is the highly anticipated and requested comparison between the Keens 7S stroller wagon and the Larktail Caravan stroller wagon. Hey guys, welcome if you are new to my channel. My name is Lois and here we talk about family products, baby gear, mom life, I do the occasional random vlog and we'll do comparisons, reviews and overviews of just about everything that I can get my hands on. So if that sounds interesting to you, please remember to hit the subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for your support. Before we get started, I do want to say that in the description box down below, there's going to be a lot of useful information and links. But if you still have questions at the end of this video or if you need clarification on either of these stroller wagons, please feel free to leave me your question in the comment section. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll take a overview of both of the stroller wagons side by side. And as we do this, you will see that there are similarities, but also a lot of differences. And I will try and go into the details of all of these as we get to each section or part of the stroller wagons. Both stroller wagons do come standard with baskets. The baskets look identical, but the Larktail basket is actually one inch longer. Both baskets do have zippered mesh compartments at the bottom where you can store dirty, sandy, or wet items. They also fold up flat to be flush up against the frame for easy storage and transportation. Starting with the handlebars, these handlebars look almost identical except the Larktail does extend out further than the Keens, but both of the stroller wagons have handlebars that can adjust at several different levels and heights. Both stroller wagons come with parent consoles, which are three different compartments where you can store drinks, sunglasses, diapers, etc. And these are actually nearly identical. Both of the foot brakes for each of the stroller wagons are located on the axle itself. The canopy on these is the huge difference. The Larktail has two individual and separate canopies that you can open or close as needed. The canopies are sold separately, but each canopy set does come with a weather cover and a bug net. These are stored in the canopy for ease and convenience. The Keens canopy is one solid structured canopy. It does, however, have a very large mesh peekaboo window at the very top that can be opened or closed with the use of zippers. The Keens canopy also has two privacy panels that drops down on either side. Taking a look at the interior seating compartment, the Keens has two five-point harness seating areas with a flat seating surface. The Larktail also has two five-point harness seating areas with an internal storage pocket for your kids' snacks and drinks. The center flap of this does fold up, exposing a footwell and two separate seats. Taking a bird's eye view of both of these stroller wagons, you'll see that they look almost identical in size. However, the Larktail is about two inches longer on the internal seating compartment area. Another difference between the two is that the Larktail seat back is significantly higher than the Keens. The Keens seat back is about 16 inches, the Larktail is about 21 inches. The Larktail also has two individually reclining seats. 
The Keens does not offer this option. With both seats fully reclined, the basket open and handlebar extended, the Larktail does have a max length of 61 inches. Shown here is my 47 inch 50 pound 5 year old and my 31 inch 18 pound 1 year old. As you can see, both kids have sufficient leg and foot room. They are comfortably seated and there is no fighting over space or room. Folding down the center flap in the lark tail, closing up the footwell, both of my kids have a space to lay down side by side. My five-year-old is a little squished, but in the Keens, you can tell that there is a little less room. However, they do both fit. Now, it is important to note that the Keens does have a weight limit of 45 pounds per child, and the Larktail has a weight limit of 50 pounds per child. Now, both of these do fold up the exact same way. You simply pull up on the center strap and accordion fold both of the stroller wagons closed. I'm showing them here side by side, and as you can tell, they have an almost identical fold size. And that is it for today's comparison. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for next week's comparison of the Wonderfold Wagon and the Larktail. Thanks for watching.